Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we are going to work, well, we're going to introduce you to the 1976 Bally Knight Rider. No, this has nothing to do with kit. This is pre-kit, the Knight Rider 2000. Notice the Bally Knight Rider, basically about uh, truckers, which is really cool because you got your trucker microphones for your CV systems and they are actually your player um, lights. This game does work. Not the best. It does do its things. It's got issues. But it is working. Uh, First, let's, we might as well just open this up and get right to it and show you. I have to take the glass out anyways. First thing I do at games, I label the glass and the lockdown bar. I do that so it doesn't get mixed up with anybody else's game. I have several machines at a time I work on. And if I start doing a bunch of machines... I lose track of whose glass is what. So now all my glasses, when they're out of the machines and I'm working on them, the lockdown bars and the glasses get labeled. So you get your same scratchy or mint glass back with your game when you take it home or get it re re delivered. The ball will go in here. We'll get a new ball anyways. So let's bring you over right here so we can look at the play field. Play field is in actually very, very good condition. It's dirty, yeah, but it's in good condition. It's in very good condition. It's got one little bit of wear here. I'll probably take a little bit of clear and just cover that up. Oh, this is very loose. That is weird. It's designed to slide like that, which is weird. The holes in it let it move back and forth. These don't. There's one here, but then these got slop grooves in them. Same with these. That is really weird. So we will probably put rubber posts and get rid of these like nylon nuts. Just get rid of the rubber posts. I want to unplug this. One, I have to take the head off, and two, I don't want to get my hand in there and go like I did on my Gottlieb preview. If you want to watch that, um, go to my Gottlieb preview. I think it's about 26 minutes in or 20 minutes in, and I'm messing around with the relay board, and I get a good shot. But anyways, so I know we got issues with this slingshot. We got issues with um, some lights that don't work at all. And I put new bulbs in. These spinners are, well, they spin. I like them to rip a little. Yeah, plastic's in the way. I like them to really rip. Yeah, but yeah, um, Playfield needs a little cleaning, adjusting. I don't know what we will do about drop targets. We will get to that when we get to it. They work. They're not mint. So I don't know if they want to go that far. This flipper is totally busted right here. It's garbage. Plastics are all good. I've never really looked at one of these games before. But I like it. I really like it. Inside. It's got a heavy play field. I can feel that for sure. Inside's pretty decent. Um, flippers. It needs new flipper bushings for sure. We got a good wiggle there. Otherwise, this one's not too bad. 
let's get over here. Hopefully I'm not in here man. This flipper bushing is good. And this one's got slop on it. Oh yeah, that one's real sloppy. So we're gonna do a flipper rebuild. We'll just get a flipper rebuild kit for this. Yeah. They both got enough slop in this one. The bushing is missing most of its screws. But all all that aside, we still have some slop in the linkage. So that will get rebuilt. Otherwise, I didn't see too many issues under here with everything. It's dusty, but it's it's basically clean. You know, it's doing its thing. I don't really see any crispy. Well, I see two kind of crispy coils, but I'm not too sure about them. It's missing one of its um, 555 bulbs or 455s. These 455 bulbs here, these are uh, kind of like a relay interrupter or something they designed it into it. The 455 bulbs, as you know, they turn on and when they get to a certain point, they turn off because they're flasher bulbs. And when that happens, it will de-energize that coil. So it was a, a neat thing that Bell used, but the only problem with it now is that, yeah, that's gotta come out the roller ball. The only problem was now is the 455s are getting hard to get and they're very expensive now. And then once they're gone, they are gone. So hopefully somebody will make a new fix for that, a little timer or something like that. That will go in there, um, you know, like a five second timer or a ten second timer that will replace that bulb to get rid of the bulb in the circuit. Um, chime box needs a rebuild, it's kind of sloppy. Um, shooter rod's got a super strong spring on it. Flipper buttons are war. What was I probably? This one looks like it could be clean. That one's a little war too much. So he's all work good. He's got tape around this coil. Don't know why. Probably just a label fell off. I don't see any smoked coils back here. They all look good, original. It's got that good EM smell to it. I love that. But yeah, everything looks pretty decent under here. This needs everything taken apart, fully cleaned. Lubricated the way it needs to be, or delubricated. I haven't ran into any of that because I haven't taken anything apart. Now we will get into the head. Everything looks pretty good here. One thing I did notice was the 0 to 90 unit has been disconnected. Don't know why. Um, everything else seems to be working decent. So we'll probably just throw this on free play. I didn't see any quarters in the machine. Um, score reels. They're working. Everything else seems to be working really good. But I can tell none of this has actually been cleaned. This game was flipped. It's a flipper game. And what I mean by flipper games is somebody went through the game, saw that everything was working, and then left it. I will give you an example of a flipper game. 
I'll show you why it's a flipper game. One. It's got brand new rubbers on it. Two. Let's take this glass off. We have to take this off anyways. Let's get this out of the way. Right away. Two, notice how all these bulbs are really crusty and dirty, but look, here's one brand new bulb. Here's another brand new bulb. Here's another brand new bulb. So we got three brand new bulbs so far. Just behind the back glass, and the rest of them are all dirty and nasty. Where did I get that from right here? But then this one is all nice and clean. That is what I call a flipper game. All the square reels are just filthy. They're just dirty. Yeah, they work, so let's skip them and put new bulbs in and then sell somebody a game so it can break down like this one did, and that's why we're fixing it. So this I call a flipper game because somebody just flipped it. That was it. They really didn't do anything to it. They went through and flipped it. Didn't really clean anything. Yeah, they went through and probably put a coat of wax on a play field but they really didn't deep clean it if they even cleaned the play field I mean waxed they did clean the play field but did they wax the play field I don't see any evidence of wax so they might have just wiped it down but I don't know but it was all brand new rubbers on the game those have all been replaced except for maybe that one that one is just dirty all around in a circle, and it shouldn't be. That one might have got re forgot to be replaced. And this post right here, too. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. It's a red post. But Mark, this game all has white posts. This red post back here was a signature for, I think it was the game designer or somebody that had something to do with the game. He would throw a red post in the games and that would be his signature. While every other post on this game here is white. There's one single red one back here. It's funny. So we will put that back right there where it belongs. He has his signature. But yeah, that's about it. So if you are interested in the Knight Rider, subscribe. Check out that subscribe button. Click it. Check the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to also help Mark's Basement Arcade, in the description here, there's cool stuff. And there's a link to my swag store. So you can get cool Mark's Basement Arcade shirts. I wore Pac-Man today. I wasn't planning on doing a video but then I remembered I had to do this video and I forgot to change my shirt but you can get cool Mark's Basement Arcade t-shirts that say Mark's Basement Arcade right here and on the back I know I should wear a shirt but anyways um give me a thumbs up like follow subscribe we're on Instagram oh there is a little leftover wax here we're on Instagram Facebook, and YouTube. So, with that, I guess the only other thing I can do is say, uh, take care, and later.